Welcome back to the experiment. As I said last week, I will be back. And I hope you're very curious about the result we'll get. Just to show you that today is Saturday evening, the 10th of March, and I'm here, we'll be reviewing the results from the trading systems. As usual, I will be using my trading journal that I built in, by myself in the previous course. But before that, we'll start. I want to refresh what we are doing here. We're trying to use our lazy trading approach. Trading system in Terminal 1, we are freely trading. At the same time, exact same trading systems are deployed in Terminal 3 and 4. They are not trading, but waiting until decision support system algorithm would trigger this by either using simple statistical control of the profit factor or using reinforcement learning technique. Our goal is to minimize losses and preferably even grow trading account in Terminal 3 and 4 by selectively using only profitable trading systems. Once again, this course and this lecture is only recorded for training and learning purposes. Good results may be just a coincidence. Moreover, you are already aware about my approach, which is to use trading to learn computer and data science. I would encourage you to apply obtaining knowledge to gain value at your work or at your studies. Before we look at the results of this week, I would show you the results from the first two weeks. We saw that in the first week, reinforcement learning seems to be able to select good system. It was starting good at the first week, having very little amount of trades, but positive. The week after uh, was also very affordable for all the terminals. And this third week, it was, it was a total disaster for the reinforcement learning system. Overall, we had 20 currency units down. So it means that we lost 30 currency units. Better news, however, is that Terminal 3 uh, was still positive. I would like to make particular attention that this week was also particularly short, mainly because I am um, already deployed the code from uh, the course number 5, which uh, teaches how to use um, news reading, web scrapping to limit trades during big macroeconomic news events. So um, only three days of trades this week. This week we had an event uh, related to minimum bid rate in Europe and also yesterday non-farm payroll on Friday. So I guess now we we'll try to perform this short investigation about why reinforcement learning system performance was so poor. I'm now switching to the trading journal and terminal 4. I see that systems 405 with Canadian dollar seems to work good. If I look at to the system profit factor, it's 18.21 and there's only six trades done. So if I would go to the first terminal to see the result of the same system, profit factor was just 3.71. Anyway, perhaps just a coincidence. I would return to the terminal 4 now, and I would note which systems were performing poorly instead. 413, 412, and 416. I would now try to investigate why system 413 was performing like poorly like that, and if I need to improve my reinforcement al learning algorithm. If I switch to Terminal 1 and investigate the System 13, I may guess that this system was selected because of these three winning trades. So I would probably need to find out how to change the behavior of my reinforcement learning system to adapt a little bit quicker to the changes, or maybe there is another issue. Let me now open my repository for train control and the good news is that for investigation I can just execute the script and see the resulting code and the, the, everything that is coming out of, of the, this code. So I will be bringing my code and start executing it, um, maybe a little bit fast, but you can make it slowly to understand it. Inside of the for loop, I will substitute commented uh, i to be 12. So this will give me the trading system I'm looking for, which is 113 at the end. This system I would like to investigate. So right now, I'm having data for that model. I will define all the control variables and I will train the model from the data to see what it gets. Let me open the model now. Okay. 
I probably see what is wrong. In, I see it in case I'm in trade loss state and I will do the action off, I will get a negative reward. But in case I will be in the state trade loss and I will be uh, keeping on, I will get a positive reward. This means that the system will be choosing always on in case we are in the losing state. Very bad. Let me try to uh, understand why uh, this is happening. I think the reason is probably in the fact that we are, we are falsifying things. We did not use true action for updating our reinforcement learning algorithm. In fact, our system was in on state while we did not set about that to refresh the algorithm. So for this reason, I will be changing my algorithm. Basically, uh, I will now be retraining the model using the data from the terminal T3 trades. Practically, whenever the T4 trading terminal will have enough trades, I will be using this information to update my model. Obviously, I would apologize for this mistake. It was a um, great learning for me. Sorry, I just uh, before the, in the beginning of the course, I was uh, letting you aware that I'm, I'm, uh, this is a very experimental thing and you are having a chance to participate in the development of this uh, cool algorithm. Let me now show you how I corrected this code. Now I am um, using the traits from the terminal 4 and we are reading them and using to retrain the algorithm. By the way, this is the new script you see. It's called version 1 at the end. It's in the same folder if you're watching later. Uh, right here I'm creating a data set for the reinforcement learning update. The data set, as you see, is coming from terminal 4 and notice that I had to create a new function with the added name slave. The only change in this line, basically the only action will be created in the, by that mutate function will be on. That's all the changes and in fact it is true. The, the, when, whenever uh, this system trades, it is always on. But now, I, if I would execute the code, my reinforcement learning model will get updates. The action state on will be correctly penalized if we get losses as a reward. This model policy will not get correct calculations or estimated gains. Uh, that's all for this time. I will now just replace the script with the new one and put it into production. Hopefully in one week I will be able to show you much better results. I'm not sure yet if this is the final version of the algorithm. Um, time will show. Uh, perhaps I need to think and try a little more, but I don't have much time actually to try. I prefer to uh, maybe run over time to see if we're going to the right screen, stream. Now I would thank you for your patience. I hope that these learnings um, would help us together to learn reinforcement learning and master this concept. So I um, encourage you actually to comment and put your opinion, try your own code, try to execute, think how would you improve this code. Otherwise, I'm looking forward to see you the next week. See you soon. Bye.